Anything you need for Halloween, this is Haunted School. Today guys, I am going to be reviewing probably the rarest um, prop that was sold at Asda in 2009. This um, particular item was only sold at the Asda Living Stores. And it is the um, Wicked Warty Witch, or the um, Witch for the um, candy tray as um, you can see. So I basically got this item this, um, today um, from the time of recording it and um, yeah, um, she is really cool. So we'll give you a look at the box real quick. It says Asda Wicked Warty Witch, 1.5 meters approx. And um, that is the picture of her. It actually does look amazing, it's really well um, detailed and everything. Um, it's got that sort of retro style feel to it with the glow around it. And um, yeah, let's give you a look at the annotations real quick. It says sound and motion activated, collapses, freezes storage, a fright night favourite, and cackles at your guests and give them a fright. As you can see up here, funnily enough, it still has a security protected sticker and the um, thing that we gave him in stores to let scanners go off um, so um, yeah and down here we've got the um, classic um, sort of like animated characters in the background which look amazing it's like a whole silhouette and this box overall is in really good condition all the pictures yeah, it's probably one of the best ones next to Phantom Face Ripple that I've got and um, down here it says um, the warnings and about the product, um, pause if you want to read any of that, 28 gar day guarantee, that's the barcode, and um, yeah let's give you a look at how you should pack her inside the box, um, just lean her over here, um, so as you can see the hat is on top, this is how I do it anyway, and um, give you a quick look inside, there's the head, this is the body, tray poles etc so I'm gonna get her out of the box so I can show you all the pieces and then we'll get into assembling her. So down here guys is all the bits you'll need for assembling her. Here is the body, it's got all the arms attached and everything in this hand. Um, here's the head, as you can see um, it also has this um, light module at the back which I'll give you a look into later. Um, the hand, this is one that you need to attach the tray to. We've got five poles, um, the tray, yeah, which is similar to the life size butler but it's a bit different but kind of like sort of how the locking mechanism is to get inside in a bit crossbar support and finally the base so on the heart and as you can see the base says Jemmy Industries right there so yeah let's get into assembling her real quick so the first thing you're going to want to do is place the base um, down and grab two of the poles that are included and um, I think the smaller end goes through here, but yeah, that's right. Death goes through the way it looks too. So I'll get that in and then be right back, it's quite kind of fiddly. So here we go guys, I've got them poles in, I'll just correct myself on that, the bigger end goes at the inside of the base. These ones are for connecting these two poles together, so we do basically do the same. And then these should push together like that. Do that with another pole, and then that's the legs constructed. There we go. So now, I'm going to grab the crossbar support right here. I'm not sure if there's any certain way this has to go on, but it does get kind of fiddly. So I'll just push that on and be right back. So now you've got the crossbar support on, the assembly should look like that. And um, finally, this is the right way. Actually, there we go. You put this one in at the smaller end push it in and then the body goes on top of these so um, the body should have sort of like a groove that aligns onto here um, I'll just do that off camera so now you've got the body on you're going to want to adjust the dress to how you want it which I've sort of done I'll sort, sort it out to make it perfect later um, so now what you're going to want to do is attach the hand um, very similar to the butler it's got this little locking mechanism which I really like so to get it out you just have to push on this little button and it just comes off, really cool. So now um, you attach the tray, so just unlock this thing here and um, hopefully it should just go in just like so. Let's get this. So now we've got the tray clipped in place and um, what you're going to want to do is grab the head and see it has two adapters two little um, adapter jacks in there you're gonna want to connect it into this groove right so that's in the neck and um, 
I'll just get that fabric out there so I've got it in place properly. And to secure this in place, um, what you're going to need to do is push on it and hear a click. I think it's in place now. So after that, you're going to want to tuck the neck into the um, into the sort of like dress um, so it doesn't show through. Now what you're going to need to do is um, get the adapter. I prefer to put this um, down the dress so you can't really see the wire um, coming out of it. So what you're going to want to do is um, push it, put the adapter into her neck. So that's what powers her. And um, I'll just um, get everything sorted out now. And for the last thing you have left to do is um, get the hat. And um, there's two Velcros on it. You're going to have to put one on the hat at first in the back at first and then as you can see there's the back one there's the top one you're just gonna have to do that and then um, she's all set up so we'll see you there so here is Wicked Waughty Witch fully set up and um, just give you a bit of back history about this as I said at the start of review um, she was only sold at the Asda living stores which uh, made her really rare and um, this was one of those highly anticipated props of the year so I do believe she was um, shown in a teaser video um, that as they did in 2009 showing off some of their props. She was in there and um, a lot of people wanted her but um, never managed to get her because um, she was only at them bigger stores, um, which was unfortunate. Which is sort of now um, why she's um, so rare or uncommon. Um, so let's get into this review real quick. Um, I do believe she retailed for £70, the same price as a butler. And yeah, let's start off with her hat. She actually does stand very tall with her hat, but she is actually really small um, without that hat. Um, yeah, it's really nice. She's got this um, nice golden buckle. This spider's just been added on by the previous owner. Um, this thing's actually pretty much brand new. Um, apparently it's only st it's stored up. Um, it's in storage for years, um, so that's really cool. She will last a long time then. Um, here is her face, she's got them, one of them amazing Jemmy um, witch faces and this one is very cool, she might be a bit more detailed than Wanda, I'm not 100% sure um, we'll have to get her out to compare once um, it comes Halloween but she, around here she has a lot of um, detail and airbrushing and here's her eyes really do like the yellow pupils in them um, her little eyebrows, the wrinkles are amazing and she's got this like um, pointy chin and a pointy nose with warts on and here's her mouth, her chin's a little warped but that's due to her being in storage I'm pretty sure and the motion sensor is actually on her chin under there um, so yeah now onto her dress um, she actually has this really nice fabric kind of reminds me of this tablecloth I've got in which I might have around her this year because it, it would look great with her and um, it's got little spiders and cobwebs on in silver actually does look great. Um, this arm's I think it might be a pose and stay, I'm not 100% sure because um, this arm is um, completely solid um, to hold the tray so um, this is how you're sort of meant to have it. The bo box shows this arm holding the tray but I've tried it and um, it kind of goes down so you're gonna have to have this arm holding it which has a detachable hand and she's got this little belt buckle um, which is kind of hidden behind the tray it's got these little articulated um, things that are on each side and these are a bit thinner than the butlers but you can tell it's a 2009 tray because it's got the grey paintings on around each side it says wipe clean thoroughly before use it's got these nice little patches of lighter grey and um, gold in there to make it look really old and creepy looking and her hands actually do have a lot of detail on them themselves you can see really really cool um, and there's the box there's a dress um, it's not too much on it but um, still looks great um, it, she actually does have quite a lot of body shape compared to a lot of life sizes we see these days you can definitely tell from a distance she looks like someone standing there um, I'll give you a quick look at her base um, it's pretty much standard base um, there's not a button on it or anything and it does say behind it, um, Jemmy Industries, um, which it says there. And it's got some information about the distributor um, who distributed these to Asda and everything. Um, so yeah, and she does have this little belt going around her as well, which is really cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention her hair. 
Her hair's really cool. It actually looks like it's going into her head when it's just a wig. Um, so that's really cool how they did that. Um, and yeah. So here's a look from behind her. I'll probably turn her around so you can better look, get a better look. So she does look really cool from behind. And um, you can see her sleeves again. All look great. She's got this massive um, velcro going down here. Um, so you can help um, set her up I guess. And um, try and show you that module thing on the back of her neck real quick. So as you can see here, I'm not sure if you can. She has a switch, a try me jack and you plug the adapter right in here. And with that neck, you're gonna have to you have to push it in sort of to the module, all under the um, plastic casing, because you don't want that um, neck sticking to it, because it'll just obstruct the head a little bit. But yeah, let's turn the back around and then we'll show you her in action. So all together, um, she has four phrases that are all the same as Wanda's, but um, she does have some minor differences. Like some, um, there's a lot of bass and the sound, more bass than Wanda, I'd say. And she doesn't cut at the start of the scenes, um, which is great. I, uh, that's the only sort of gripe I had about Wanda, but... Um, so yeah, without any further ado, um, she has sound and motion activated, so I'll be setting her off by that in this video. So let's plug her in. And here we go. Go over all her phrases again, because um, she doesn't really have much, but they look cool. So yeah guys, that's pretty much everything um, I have to say for Wicked Warty Witch, and if you do see her for sale, um, I really do recommend you get her, she's a really rare prop, she's very cool at the same time, I like how, how she has a limited amount of movement so, you, so that um, won't really wear down, it's just a simple head mechanism and they usually last very long, and an idea of um, that, that I could suggest is um, if you're doing a display for charity, you could actually use her tray to collect donations and have a stand in at your door, which um, was really cool. Um, I'm probably going to have to do that at some point. Um, and um, she, yeah, she'd go great in any sort of witch theme or gothic or haunted mansion. And um, she'd go great um, with, to greet um, trick or treaters too. And also, I really recommend it. Recommend you get her if you do have a butler as well. These two definitely go great together. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, please tell me all your opinions on Wicked Warty Witch in the comments below. Um, I personally really like her. She's one of my favourite Asda props they've ever sold. And it's just a shame they weren't really um, too common as the butler. So I like them pretty much too, both equally. So um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. More as the 2009 reviews on the way. Um, um, thanks for watching and remember, anything you need for Halloween, this is Haunted School. Well secluded, I see all with a bit of a mind flip. You're into the time slip and nothing.